everyone, this is Ashley, and today we're going to be learning about parallel structures. So the definition of a parallel structure is the repetition of a certain form which provides balance and clarity in your writing. Here are a bunch of examples. So we have the correct version, which is I took my girlfriend out swimming and dancing. Notice that we have the same ing endings for both of these words. And for the incorrect version, we have, I took my girlfriend out to swim and dancing. These have different endings. This has ing, and this one is just the regular word. Here we have a not parallel example as well. Ellen likes hiking with an ing, the rodeo, no ing, and to take afternoon naps. Again, no ing. To make this one parallel, we would have to have all of them with an ing or have them all be regular. This is a parallel example too. Again, notice that we have hiking, attending, and taking all end with an ing, so they are parallel. And same thing with the last one. They are parallel because they all end with the same ending of the regular word. Okay, here's a little quiz. Select the correct answer. Complete the sentence. On any given day, my fickle toddler might choose to hoard his toys to share them peacefully with his friends or blank all together in favor of television. So we have or abandon them all together in favor of the television or to abandon them. So what do we notice here is I helped you out a little bit by bolding to. So we see that the parallel structure is the word to. So it'd be this answer to abandon them to continue the parallelism. The next one we have is complete the sentence. Today I will be giving away my old clothes, buying new clothes, and blank. So we see the ing here again. So would it be traveling to Arizona or travel to Arizona? Obviously it would be traveling to Arizona because of the ing. All right, now for a video. Welcome to Parallel Structure, the only game show where you choose a grammatical form and stick with it through the whole sentence. Now, let's welcome our first contestant, Mitch. Oh, Mitch, good to have you on the show. It's great to be a part of it, Mark. Mitch, what are some things you like to do for fun in your free time? Oh, I really enjoy watching movies baking and riding my bike. Ah, ha, 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 very nice. And it seems you already seem to know a thing or two about parallel structure. That I do. Great. Now, Mitch, just remember, sentences need to have parallel structure. And that just means that if you have more than one idea, they all need to match or be the same part of speech. Are you ready? I'm ready to play. OK. Mitch, your first sentence is, the quarterback waited for the ball, stepped back quickly, and threw the football. Does this sentence use parallel structure? Mark, I'm going to have to say yes. This sentence does use parallel structure because it says that the quarterback stepped, waited, and threw. Everything is in past tense, so yes, I will say it is in parallel structure. Ah, great start, great start. You got that one perfect, Mitch. Let's look at your next sentence. It says, her daughter aspires to be a teacher, singer, or act in movies. Does this sentence use parallel structure? Hmm, that's a tricky one, Mark. But I'm gonna have to say no, because the sentence reads, her daughter aspires to be a teacher, a singer, or act in movies. Now, teacher and singer are both nouns, but active movies, it's not enough. So we'll have to say no. Unbelievable, Mitch. Wonderful. Perfect. You have done it again. But for 20 extra super secret bonus points, can you change this sentence so that it correctly uses parallel structure? Oh, oh, oh boy. Okay. All right. Um, I believe I can, Mark. Give it a shot. Her daughter aspires to be a teacher, singer, or an actress. Oh, Mitch! You've done it again! Unbelievable! A perfect score. 
boy, oh boy. Mitch, you sure played this game quickly, bravely, and got every question right. Mitch, you sure played this game quickly, bravely, and accurately. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us on Parallel Structure. Okay, so that was a good example of doing parallel structure. So as a reminder, parallel structure is the repetition of a certain form, which provides balance and clarity in your writing. I hope you learned something and have a good day.